Night Show. Real interesting. Um, this is the YNW Melly trial. And Melly's uh, attorney is great. Like, he basically, you know, exposing the holes in the case. And he basically telling the judge, hey, man, the, the prosecution, they misleading you, man. Like, they story all over the place. They telling you Melly guilty because of the cell phone. If we, if the cell phone with the text messages back and forth with Melly and the deceased, that he's guilty just based off that. If the cell phone was there, Melly was there. Um, so the judge, he, he pretty much is being open-minded to the prosecution and the defense, but the defense, they own it. Like as far as he feel, you know, and the detective, Mr. Moretti, detective Moretti. Uh, he didn't contradicted himself a couple of times, y'all, with his testimony. He didn't been honest about some things and then had to backtrack and regroup about what he was saying. Um, they keep trying to show videos and text messages uh, between uh, Melly You know, right now they showing, I believe this. Transaction details. PNC banks, National Association or whatever. So this is just ATM, you know, transactions. But what do that got to do with the murder? I guess they trying to speculate and say, Locations. I guess everything is coming down to locations. But another fact in this situation, the prosecution trying to hit Melly with the, um, well, they tried to mislead the judge, so to speak, with the cell phone records. It's like, if we doing a, a paper trail or a text trail or cellular trail, then What's so complicated about finding out um, what's so complicated about finding um, information or between the victims and Melly as far as if they're trying to use that as hardcore evidence. It's like, it's not adding up really so y'all subscribe like I'm following the trial live this is live footage in the courtroom they keep showing the footage of the day when Melly and uh, everybody from y YNW jumped into the cars leaving the studio they saying Melly changed clothes um, they saying that Juan W. Cortland is accomplice of Melly. Um, but there is no hardcore evidence really up to this point to say, oh, okay, we just know Melly did this. It's all really speculation. And even with the cell phone thing, okay, just because he had the cell phone doesn't mean he pulled the trigger. So, we, we trying to figure this out. I'm gonna keep y'all posted and updated and educated and stimulated. You know what I'm talking about with the truth. Um, that's how we doing this. So far, so good. Melly's attorney is great as far as him getting right to the point. He aggressive. He ain't playing, he ain't with none of the shenanigans, none of the games. He even telling the judge flat out, hey man, they misleading you. They wasting your time. Um, 
to, to uh, recoup the cell phone information from a tower or from a cell phone entity such as T-Mobile or Sprint, Boost, Verizon, whatever you want to say that. These records is open. And Detective Moretti, he's not no um, expert. You know what I mean? You got to you gotta talk to one of them engineers. You know, you can't go off no detective work. Now, as a detective, you could present the evidence from what you retrieved, but he don't work for the cell phone people. You know what I mean? So, so far, my YouTube family, subscribers, and people tuning in, that's what's going on with the case. They don't have no hard evidence against me.